Greetings, I'm Surveying Glory and welcome to part 14 of my playthrough of U-Boat. Part 13 turned out to be a bit unlucky for us. Uh, we were stalking the Empire Homer, single freighter on its way to Bergen. Uh, out here we managed to intercept it, we ran ahead of it, managed to get into a firing position, but we weren't able to hit it at all. So we had to let that go, our tubes were empty, uh, so we had to let the freighter sail off. But we do have the additional mission to come up and check out the air defences around Bergen, so we're on our way to do that. We've got a route plotted that keeps us at least 20 metres depth. Uh, although there might be the odd point where we hit 15. But anyway, we're heading up there, and then we'll have a look at the air defences and see what we can see. Fuel's getting low. So we're going to have to run in batteries for a while. We're at 0226. We can stay on the surface for a bit longer though. Let's open up the gauges. Yeah, let's just carry on in the surface. We'll get there as quickly as we can. Shallow waters, it was fine. This path should be clear most of the way. What stopped is there? New objective. Oh, oh we, found, we reached our position. Okay, still 310, so it should be fairly dark. It's very dark when he takes away his binoculars. What were you looking at? Were you staring right into somebody's back or something? Drowning. Um. Yeah, we've had rough seas all through the patrol. Okay, it's not pitch black, but we're safe to run on the surface for a while yet. Can't actually see any land. Let's run in a bit closer then. Obviously our clear sight range is very limited. If we get to this point, it's still only 3.30. Red lights were not on direct orders. Right, we can just, or I can just make out the land over in the distance there. Now you can see it more easily ahead of us. Don't know if you can make it out by the time this is rendered up to YouTube, we'll see. So the land is becoming visible, but we're, st we're still safe enough just now. So we will run to see seventy five. Can we get in here? Twenty meter yeah. Should be able to do that. Continue to run to there. And then if we head down here, that's still twenty meters. We head to that point and then run along the front of the port if we can. Don't want to go down into 15 metres, so stay there. And then we're we'll getting into deeper water up here. Right, so that will give us hopefully a decent view of the whole of the port. And we'll be able to pick out these guns. Back up here. Yeah. Still secure. Let's run faster. Right, now at this point, let's go down to dead slow ahead. So don't want to run across the front of the port too quickly. Bit of a worry that we're on the surface, but I've forgotten about the turning circle, turning radius. Okay. I think. Ah, we can actually see the land. Okay, in that case, we probably are okay just now. 
But if you go into the tank periscope. You just stay on dead slow ahead. We'll have a look through the scope, see what we can see. Right, so. Tanker, 30 we found a tanker. Right, I don't think we need an alarm. Uh, disable the alarm. I'll set the alarms if need be. Right, I'm not seeing much now. What magnification are we at? Can't see anything because of the mist. I don't know if I want to actually come to a dead stop and go to periscope depth in case any ships come out of the harbour. Maybe we do. Ah, uh, truck. Or some sort of vehicle. Ah! We found a gun, I think, have we? I think we have Let's see a ship. Another ship here. Um, because of the indicator up at the top, I wondered if that was the Empire Homer that we had locked up while we were travelling up. Don't think so, though. No. Right. Um, can't see bugger all for now. Hopefully. Vision will improve as day dawns. I'm going to drop down to periscope depth and we'll come to a complete stop. And stop direct orders as well. Alright. Let's. Run on a bit. You're back on the scope. I suppose if you raise, the, in fact, again the scope is maximum extension, but constantly under water. I was hoping we might get some camo seas in here. Obviously not. Anyway, let's run on. I'm not sure what time. We don't have. Uh, Indication of when sun up is, but we can't run at 140, so we're stuck here for a while. Right, we've detected propellers, ship propellers 107. Uh, we're not going to be able to see them because of the seas, probably. Uh, let's swing the scope, you never know, we might get lucky. On the other hand, we might not get lucky at all. Dresky, can you tell me anything about them? Low speed, although obviously it's just maybe leaving port. Try that again. No, 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 no. Don't move at all. I did have a route set in there to take us across. We could just rock. Well, hang on. We've turned, so we would want to 
do something like that and then that when it comes time but for now just stay still uh, I wanted to see what that ship was 102 so it's actually out there is it some sort of patrol craft or is that a ship on its way in I wonder if it's a Empire Homer who could have sailed up around there I suppose That does look like a deeper channel. Anyway, let's um, scrub that. And we're seeing nothing at all. Buoyancy, that's the problem. Right. In that case, we need to surface the boat. That ship was two to five miles away, wasn't it, Dresky? Oh, we can't see it now because you're off the hydrophones. Did it again. I keep right clicking to cancel selections. Right, buoyancy is on its way back up. Good stuff. Let's get down to decks awash then when we get up to say ninety percent buoyancy. Are we going to get to ninety percent? Let's do it. Um still Reasonably dark, still very misty. Oh, that's the gun that we detected. That ship was about 102. So, no sign of anything. Am I seeing buildings or is that just. No, I think it's just. And there we go, there's a freighter. Um, you know, I'll set the alarms. If we've got a freighter on the way in, we're going to have to submerge. Let's swing back around. Tanker, 205 grad. Handelsschiff, 215 grad. Let's look a bit closer. Right, so there's one gun. This is. Ridiculous, what depth are we at? Oh, we're still down, we're supposed to be decks awash. We can't maintain buoyancy. We've got a problem with our buoyancy, serious problem. Um, anyway, there's one gun. Anything else? Uh, I wanted to come down here. No, I didn't. I wanted to come out here. Pump on. Try and get this all the way up. Let's get air reserves maxed out as well. Fortunately, we're not using electricity for the engines at the moment. Right. See nothing. Oh, no, there's a gun. I can see it. There's two. There's another. And it looks like. That's us looking into the civilian areas. Right. Let's get a bearing on that gun. It's about 288. And no, I don't want that. Sorry, I want this. Why do I have such a difficulty um, clicking the right buttons at times? 
two eat eat. So there's a again. There's a gun off in that sort of direction. Next one is that around oh, hang on. Are we we're turning. Two nine eight and I'm well, not turning, it's just my idiocy. But two nine eight and two eight three four. Two nine eight two eight three four. It's just to get a rough idea where these guns are. I'll plot them on the map and then make sure that I can avoid trying to uh, avoid the ones that I've already found. Should be able to work out where the fourth one is, I would think. There we are. Uh, about 225. Quite a ways away. Right. Okay, so let's see. There's a gun somewhere about here. Maybe one in there. There. Let's just see here. Doesn't really matter. And the other one is over there. Or is it more like that? You know, one two two. No, you're right, you're right over there. So, yeah, the third gun must be somewhere in there. Let's get rid of those and we'll get rid of that as well. Right. So, you think there's a gun somewhere in there. That's where the others are. Anyway, let's drop down periscope depth. It's a freighter at 087 now. So maybe give us some forward momentum, help us get down, that'll do. Uh, periscope depth, we're not going to see anything. 087. Dresky, are you on the hydrophone? Uh, well, have we we changed direction or changed the face? And we may have, yeah, we may have done. I uh, propellers detected zero six eight. I was just thinking that it's probably more to the left now, given their change of bearing. No sign of it though. It looks still misty over there. Zero six seven. It did flicker there. There it is. No. Not getting any better view of it. Okay, but I don't think we need to worry about it right now. Tanker, 185 grad. Let's get zoomed in again. So that... Can we see... No, I uh, can't see anything on the map, any sort of buildings. It's now at 189. Right, that is looking more like there. The other one was quite a way to the right. Quite a way to the right. Now we're at 2, 3, 4. Uh, give me that. Two, three, four. So that still looks pretty much the same. Another one was, yeah, well, it should now be two five five or two five zero. Sorry, it's not. It's two four zero. Oh, 
well, still in roughly the same place. End of that sort of pier. They make you think that there's one here or here. Let's check out one eight zero to two one five. We'll have a look in there. We might um, let time tick on a bit and see if the mist clears. Maybe the seas settle a bit. Unhelpful. Not seeing anything at all at the moment. I think we need to let time run on. Let's do that. Uh, that ship's at 051. Maybe have a quick look at that before I accelerate time. Don't want it running over the top of me. There's still no sign of it. All right, let's accelerate time. Okay, so it's approaching 5.30 and I've watched the Empire Homer entering Bergen. So Empire Homer must have sailed up. I thought it was going to head in here, but it must have sailed up all the way around there. So that's the route for convoys. do have torpedoes uh, loaded, but that's not the mission. Mission is still uh, what to be checking out from 180. That gun, looking for another. Vision's improved and visibility improved slightly. Not an awful lot with the sun coming up. Still very misty. Now that the Empire Homer's sailed past, I may actually move in a bit closer myself and see if I can see anything from close in. Uh, let's have you hide the scope. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be somewhere in here. So let's check out depth. 20 to 50, we could get... I don't want to go right into the mouth of the harbour. It looks like we're going to... No, let's just come to here. I think that's close enough. Gives us decent clear sight range. Stay at 6 metres, that should be okay. All the ships are in the harbour now. Stop direct orders. And just carry out normal business. And let's accelerate time. Oh, I need to give myself some headway. Right. Detected somewhere else. Keep going. Get clear sight further. Right. That'll do there. Come to a halt. What can we see? Nothing. Well, raise the scope. Look dead ahead. Right. We can see slightly better. Homer spotted. Do you make dock or are you still sailing in? Got another ship there. Hmm. 
The Empire Homer just showed up again. I'd seen nothing away out there, obviously. But then we can begin to see. I should pick up the other guns though, surely. Ah, there it is. Right, so we're looking at 050. Yeah. Did see all around there. Pretty much. What's the bearings? So from zero two five through to three three zero. If we come to zero two five, then if we look, oh, because I've set to hide the scope all the time, it's now doing it automatically. Right, so we can't really see in there. I think if there's a gun over this area, we would see it. Maybe not so much in there. Out to the 330 ascent. Now we would see one over there. Fairly certain. See trucks. Yeah, we've got good visibility over there actually. That's the one that we've seen. Yeah, so that's us looking there. Stop hiding the scope. I need to switch that order. Right, so we've got that gun. There are buildings in the way, I suppose. Um, let's leave the scope up for now. I don't like doing that, but yes, I think there are buildings in there. But then the gun's not going to be wedged in along the side of the harbour. It's going to be on a point like that, surely. Maybe we need to head in a bit closer. Would you risk a sub in there though? It's going to be so obvious. Let's come in slightly into there. And give it another look. Uh, no, stop there. See, so, ships. Now we've got really good visibility. So, look dead ahead. Nothing visible. Looking right uh, up into here right now. Persilia there. And now it's zero for five nearly. If it was there, we would have seen it, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it's going to be in here. But then, where else would it be? It's not going to be down there. Is it? If we come over here, can we see all the way up there, I wonder? Just have a look. 
and then diff depth would be okay. Let's come around, have a look. Well, let's give that a try. Bearing from there roughly, so look up 245. And the mist has come back down. No. Not seeing it. So let's head back out to here. And then we'll run up as far as this point. And we'll have a look down into there. Dead slide. Okay, here we are. Out at the end of a run. Let's actually zoom all the way out over to the edge of the harbour. Right, so that's Civi. More ships. Visibility is much improved now. And seas are operating better as well. Empire Protector. Got lots of intelligence to transmit back to hard or to home base anyway. The only thing we don't have is the location of this final gun. Empire Knight. It says Ostfold. Right, that's us at 30 degrees. Uh, come to it. All stop. I didn't want an alarm disabled. Um, what was I saying? We're at 30 degrees. So we're looking there. We've scanned all the way around. Huh. Uh, that's the one that we've seen already, yeah. So that's me looking all the way back over here. Let's follow this path and we'll look up there as far as we can. 048 at uh, 48 times acceleration, I mean. Right, and then I'm going to just follow the path all the way back to there. But I want to be looking at number 240. Keep an eye up in that direction. What I'm looking for, right? So there's that pier that must be right in front of us there. Not what I wanted to do. Um, get back on the scope, thank you. Yeah, so that's the pier. Want to be looking beyond that, and I mean we can see beyond it up there. I can't 
don't I don't see them putting a, a aircraft. Well, I'm thinking logically. I'm thinking as if it was now where would a real German army occupying the port of Bergen put their 88 millimeters? But where would the game developers stick their guns in the most inaccessible places? Actually, maybe there is one up here. That'd be ridiculous. How could you, you can't even get there? What's the depth? Twenty. No. The Germans would. Nobody would sail a sub up here. It would be so obviously visible. You could ram it with a truck. That's that's. I'm thinking that is. I think that's what they've done. How idiotic would that be? Um, anyway. Right, so that's us back to the two guns that we've spotted over there. Uh, looking beyond this jetty soon. Just double check. We've got nothing back in this direction that I've maybe unmasked. No. No, we went up there and had a good look around that area. Coming towards the end of the pier now. Tell you what, let's speed up a bit. Right. Is there anything in the distance? It's not looking like it. Still poor visibility back there. That's me looking over here now. So that's looking up there. No. Handelsschiff, 245 Grad. I'm fairly certain there's nothing up there. We can just make out the buildings. I'm sure they would see the silhouette of a gun if there was one. Um. All right. In that case, damn it. It's that one again. Yeah. Okay. We we'll play silly buggers. Let's head for there. Come in to there. No, head for there. Then shift. Head from there. And then basically just turn. Try and do that. Let's go 48. <laughs> I'm just imagining the next time I look through this scope. There'll be people lying in the dockside watching me. Trying to shoot the periscope. Right. Let's see, if we were to look along bearing 3, 2, 8, what could we see? Let's find out. I missed it. Three, two, eight. Right. Yeah, I want to get up so that we can see along here. So let's 
send a course for around there thinking about having to swing around and get back out unless we you know, just go full astern or at least slow astern um, and get out that way let's fast forward a bit right okay let's set for that just now take a bearing if we want to look 334 so Actually, anywhere between 325 and 345. And um, we can go to normal lighting actually. So, what did I say? 325 and 345. Right, so 325, uh, we've got massive structure in the way. So, that's in there. Right, yes. So there's a big building there. And then we can see all the way up to presumably the end here, where we've got an unknown ship number one berthed. Let's check out in the distance. No, no sign of a gun here. around here. Let's come back around to the left. Where was that ship? There it is, poking out the end. The Minaya ship actually might be in there. Yeah, that must be. Yeah, so there's a ship berth there. That's one I'm seeing the end of. And there's further ships up here. Berth in there, looks like. So if the gun's up there, what do we have? Yeah, there's a large building right in here. So we're going to have to carry on this sort of heading. If we were to come, say, out there, uh, no, carry on to there, still at 20 metres, so let's try and do something like that. You can check in this point here, which might be shielded by the ship, and hopefully get some sort of vision up here. They surely don't expect me to sail up that canal, do they? Empire Clarion. Oh look, it's the Empire Homer, our old friend. I would have liked to have seen it birth actually, just to see what how it's animated. Do they animate it at all or does it just magically tie up alongside? Right, that's the guns that we've seen before.
Nothing around. Over to the left. What was I thinking? Yeah, to the right of that ship. I wondered if there's a gun in this part of the dock. Let's speed up a bit. I don't know, it's just another crane. This is a bit ludicrous. I think I've maybe said that already, but yeah, there's absolutely no way you would sail a submarine into this sort of position. I think I want you to carry on a bit further. No, okay, forget that then. Shows ahead. Still says 20 meters though. Yeah, carry on like that for now and then come around here. Because we might be able to use this to turn. Do I have. No, I don't have order set. Right, there's that whole part of the port. Definitely no guns around there. Getting damn close to the side of the Harbour there. <sighs> Let's carry on a bit further in, still at twenty meters. So safe enough for now. Uh, the scope ahead because I want to fast forward. I want to make sure I'm not going to ram the wall. No, so why does the scope not stay looking straight ahead? I want the scope to be centered on that point. No, that makes no difference. Anyway, that's the direction of travel, near enough. Trucks, cranes, buildings, guns, there are none. probably sail up and have a look at its hull and see the dent that we... Oh no, we didn't make a dent, did we? we? No, I think the first torpedo was a dud, so presumably that did hit. Just didn't explode. And the next one was a complete miss. Okay, keep going then. Handelsschiff, 235 Grad. I really don't want to go right up to the Empire Homer. But I suppose we could. There's the batteries. The batteries are okay. So we should be able to get out of here. 
Zielposition erreicht. Target position reached, yeah. I want that's a position that I've set. Okay. Carry on then. I don't want to go too far. Carry on up to there. I'm, I suppose if we went in there, we could at least turn and come back out. Might as well check while I'm here. Ah, there it is. Okay, all stop. Uh, let's get the gauges up. Welcome to the gauges. Um, all stop. No, there. Thank you. Right, I want to. Go low astern and get me out of here. Right, so hang on, where is that gun? That's that bearing of C56 ish, C55. So the gun's somewhere in here. Of that direction. Let's get back on the scope. Uh, make sure that we're clear behind. Right, fast forward again, or fast backwards perhaps. I think this heading is fine. Yeah, carry on. Just keep on going. We're clear, we're okay. And it begins to get a bit shallower. Let's swing in that direction. But again, uh, I want to look at the scope. Who's on it now? You. That's all good enough. Right. Let's get us home if we can. Tanker, 5 Grad. Handelsschiff, 330 Grad. Right, I'll stop. Batteries are still alright. We could... Mm, there's a, some sort of bank there. Should be alright though. Kurs auf diese Koordinaten setzen. Let's get... Off Kurs to auf there. And then we're fine all the way up here. Then we get shallow again. Any deep water? Right there. No. So we need to traverse that to get to that point. Then. Okay, we don't have any deep water. Head for there, and then we need to come up north, don't we? Because. Uh, no, we're okay. No, we're not okay. It's a bit hairy trying to get out. Yeah, look at the 0 to 2. 
No, we're not going down there. So we do have to come up. Uh, let's carry on out to there. And then we can run all the way to here. Not good. No, we need to carry on further to the northwest. Ten to twenty. Right, there, we're out to sea. And then from there we run due south. And hopefully we get home. Let's come right back in and we'll fast forward. Well, yeah, well, let's just fast forward slightly. Uh, let's give us some headway. Handelsschiff, 290k. And I think once we get around, start heading this direction, we can go slow ahead. Handelsschiff, 210 Grad. Handelsschiff, 165 Grad. Tanker, 210 Grad. Not in direct orders. Dresky should be coming on shift before much longer. I would hope. Well, no, probably not until midday. Dresky. No, he's back on at 10. Excellent. It's not that long then. This should be straightforward enough. around while we're here. Nothing of military importance. Did find some trees over there. Right. Good enough. Uh, let's hide. The scope. Fast forward again. And then when Dresky comes on duty, send a mission report. And then it's just a matter of getting out to sea and home. If we do see a Enemy freighter, we might try and sink it. I was thinking about going onto the surface, but we need to keep the batteries for now. What we can do though is, yeah, air quality. I was just about to fix that for you. Ventilation, Ventilation system running. The pump running. We've got water everywhere. It seems like nobody runs the pump unless I tell them to. Am I missing something? Tasks. No, we don't have pump in there as a an officer duty. Power switches, was it valves, maybe? Hmm, I don't know. We've only got five sailors on duty. What's the story with that? Um, yeah. Graf, but you're not on navigation or the like. Just remembered tasks. 
let's take graph off of this. Why am I not getting? Uh, let's do it this way. Can't do it that way. There we are. We'll have Schumann as the only watch officer. Oh, come on, you're doing it again. There we are. Uh, Schumann's the only watch officer who is going to take a turn at the listening station because he overlaps with Dresky. That's fine. Right, so you've got two workers assigned. Why do you not have any crew? And again, it's the crossover, isn't it? I'm just going to stop them alternating. I stop them having a, a crossover, just alternate them so that we've always got two crew assigned to somebody. Hopefully that will work a bit better. Yeah, there we go, two crew. Electric engines, minus 15%. And you are busy observing. What sort of depth do we have? Still down. We can't really go below periscope depth with any safety. Uh, well, we can. We can go 10 metres, actually. Let's meter depth 10 metres and we'll just run on that for a while. That means you should come off observation scope because you can't see a thing. Oh, the, the attack periscope. Right. I'm going to sail back. Uh, if I encounter a freighter on the way back, we'll pick that up in the next part. Otherwise, we'll resume when we're back in Willemshaven. For now though, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and hope to see you again next time. Cheers.